Okay, so the singer's ex-wife, Drea Kelly, is speaking out on Instagram. She fears retaliation from Kelly's fans. After all, it's happened before when he's defended himself. She writes this on Instagram. To the ones that come on my page to spew venom and victim shame, you are by far the biggest supporter of my abuser. But you will not stop me from saving lives and giving hope to those who are where I was. Pop culture expert and journalist John Murray joins me now. You've written a lot about R. Kelly, and just going back to um, the part of the song that we played for our viewers, the last line of that, some women, he says, he sings, some like to get branded. Listen, Carol, I don't know what any of that means. You know, some folks would call R. R. Kelly the king of R&B, but I genuinely more and more believe that he is the king of manipulation. This song, I believe, is a, 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 a chapter right out of the Trump deflection playbook because his ex-wife, Andrea Kelly, has been speaking for the first time ever. Uh, she did a, a very extensive interview with the syndicated talk show, Sister Circle Live. She was also on Inside Edition, and her riveting claims of physical and emotional abuse, uh, neglectful parents parenting and uh, her almost committing suicide due to the horrendous way that she was living as his wife it was tear jerking it was all uh, you were just you were shocked by it all and so i think with that and uh geronda pace who was the 16 year old that was outside of court when he went through his 2006 uh case and defended him who moved into the house and now is trying to help other girls get out of the house you know she recently did an interview where she talks about stds and sex toys and things i can't even mention here on daytime television and so r kelly so, knows so, how so to how, deflect how from does, that and this song is that how is he able if, if all of this stuff, what you say is true, how is he able to get away with it? Because he's never been convicted of anything. I don't even know if there's an active police investigation against him. You know, the, uh, the parents and some of the families and people who have been in the house have had interviews at their own admission uh, with the federal government, with the FBI about this. They never comment on whether there's an ongoing investigation or not. But I have to be honest with you, Carol. I genuinely believe that if the girls in R. Kelly's house, if the women that he targeted look more like Taylor Swift and Miley Cyrus, Chicago authorities, the feds, somebody would swoop in and stop this stuff from going on. I mean, when you've got to spend 19 minutes on a song uh, denying the allegations against you, you might be guilty. And 19 is an interesting number for R. Kelly, because some would suggest that the numbers 14, 15, 16, and 17 are numbers he's more comfortable with. Oh, now I get it. Now I get it. So, so what do you suppose in the end will happen? Because Spotify has banned his song. Some, some concert venues don't want him singing there. So will his career slowly die that way? Or will he eventually be charged with something? I mean, if you care about young black girls, your hope and your desire is that at some point R. Kelly will be charged with something. I spoke to someone who had been working in his household who told me that the advisors, the attorneys, everyone around him has advised him to let the girls in his house go home. His fear is once they leave, they may then turn on him and the things that they could reveal could incriminate him. And his greatest fear in life has been going to prison. John Murray, thank you so much for your insight. Always appreciated.